Okay guys, on my previous video, you had witnessed the actual board filing works. Now we come to PDA test or high strain dynamic file load test and file integrity test or low strain file integrity test. PDA stands for file driving analysis. The, this high strain dynamic load testing is conducted by striking the board file by the hammer blows. Several hammer blows are applied with drop height of up to 3.0 meter using 15 tons drop hammer. A 40 mm thick plywood cushion is placed on top of the file to prevent damage during impact loading. A complete a complete dynamic file measurement is obtained from each hammer blow delivered to the file and the best representative PDA file result based on case method is selected for case file web analysis program or CAPWAP. Take note that the target capacities are typically two times either a designed load or the specified allowable capacity. Step 1, as you can see on the video, the top of the file has a flat surface and well level so that it will receive a uniformly distributed load from a hammer blows. Also, the top of the file must be extended to allow for the attachment of the PDA gauges at least one diameter below the file top. Step 2 is the drilling of pile for the purpose of attaching four sets of transducers and accelerometers at the diametrically opposite pieces. This is to obtain average axial result. Step 3 is the attachment of wires connected to PDA gauges. Step 4 is the setup of pile driving analyzer or PDA gauges. This apparatus is used to measure strain and acceleration. Okay, we come now to actual PDA test. First, we have the initial 0.5 meter hammer blow. Second, we have the 1.0 meter hammer blow. Third is, we have 1.5 meter hammer blue.
For this, we have 2.0 Hammer Blue. And now the last, we have 3.0 meter hammer blow. As you notice, the hammer blow goes higher and higher up to the maximum height of 3.0 meter or until we reach the maximum load capacity designed by the structural designer. PIT or Pile Integrity Test used to assist the pile integrity and detect the presence of defects. An accelerometer attached securely on top of pile using Petrowax bonding material. This will be performed by means of using a handheld hammer. Three impact blows are applied. The acceleration data collected Average, integrated, and displayed by the PIT screen as velocities. The data quality must be checked, ensuring that all records should appear similar and consistent. The test must be repeated if several blows are bad. Finally, we come now to Pile Integrated Test, PIT. The top surface must be clean, free from water, oil, and dust. As you can see on this video, the test engineer is driving his handheld hammer on top of vial. The acceleration and velocity records of the impact along with subsequent reflections from either pile 2 and or pile discontinuous were graphically displayed. 